Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we are going to do a tag. I know. Tags are like one of my favorite videos to do. They always have been, but they're not that popular with you guys, so I don't do them that often. Although, I've got one planned for us to do together. I don't know if that's going to come before you see this video or not, but I was hoping to do a live stream and we can do that together if we've already done that. I'll link it there so that everyone can enjoy the fun who wasn't there. And if not, tell me how you feel. Would you like to do that? Would you like to do a tag live together? I think that would be really fun. This tag, I was actually tagged in this tag and never knew it, okay? So Lulu, Lulu came up with this. It is version two. In case you wonder what I'm looking at, in case I get it out of the frame, I'm looking at my phone where I have all these questions. They will be down below for you to copy and paste. If you do the tag, let me know. And if you don't have a channel and you wanna answer these questions below, I am interested to know what you think or what your thoughts are or what your answers are. Number one, do you think you look your age? No, that probably sounds egotistical, but let me explain that at 58 years old, I don't think that a lot of us who are this age look what our head says 58 looks like. Um, my grandma, she passed away when she was 65. I don't want to say she looked bad. She didn't look bad. But, you know, 65 when I was a teenager looks very much different than 65 looks now. 58 looks different now. Maybe better skincare, maybe better makeup, maybe because we have YouTube and so we're all able to teach each other and get better technique. You know, I think it has a lot to do with education, you know, that we all share this stuff and, and we're able to get more information and be more informed what works, what doesn't, how to do, and therefore all of us that are older don't look like the age did 20, 30 years ago. So no, I don't think I look like what my head thinks 58 looks like. Number two, what eye cream did you use last night? I'm not prepared, am I? I should have went through these <laughs> to see, like I could have brought the product in here. I don't know what it's called. I will try and put a picture of it here and write what it's called right down there. <laughs> I know. Uh, I do like this eye cream, by the way. <laughs> Number three, have you crossed over to granny panties? I never wasn't in granny panties. <laughs> Number four, how often, if ever, do you wear a red lipstick? Oh, well, let me tell you. I never used to wear red lipstick. Maybe once a year, I did not feel comfortable in it at all when my hair was brown. But now that my hair is this gray, whitish color, a red lip, any color, color. But one of the fun things about letting your hair go and letting its natural gray color come in, uh, if you're able to or you want to, is that lipstick becomes not just makeup anymore. To me, lipstick is an accessory now. I can get by with wearing colors and think I look good in colors that I never would have put on my mouth before. When you have this color hair, you're kind of dependent on eyeshadows and lipstick and stuff to bring some color to your face. Probably at least once a week I'm in a red lip. The only thing that bothers me about it is that people always say, where are you going? Or what are you doing? It's like red is designated for you're going somewhere. It's special occasion or whatever. Number five, do you use a vitamin C serum? Oh yeah, you guys know that I do, okay? And I bet three quarters of you know what vitamin C I use. It's a concoction that I make out of three products. I use two pumps of Mad Hippie Nutrient Mix, which I don't know, I'll have to look up again. I think it might have, it's, I've done it for so long, I don't even know what's in it anymore. It's just something I do. I spray that into my, the palm of my hand and then I take one drop of Mad Hippie Vitamin C, and I'm not a dropper, but a good sized generous drop and then five little drops because this stuff's hard to get out five little drops of the milano cc that i'm always talking about and then i rub that all together and whew, onto my face every single morning so yes i do number six do you still use black eyeliner forever and always i use brown i use blue i use all kinds of colors but my favorite is black and until I think that it's making me look old to wear it, I'll keep doing it. There may come a time when I think that it's aging me, but I don't think it does. So 
I'm doing it. Number seven, what is the highest heel height you can wear for three hours or more? None. I haven't been able to wear a heel forever. Okay, just my back won't allow it, which is sad because I used to have three closets full of shoes and a lot of them were pumps. Number eight, do you use pressed powder, loose powder, or no powder? I do all of those. <laughs> Just depends on what I'm foundation wise, what's going on with my face. But primarily, I would say I do loose powder. Um, I use a loose setting powder, I use a loose finishing powder. Um, and then later in the day, I take a compact press powder and I will powder my nose and T zone or whatever. There are plenty of days where I don't put on any powder too, so I do all of that. Number nine, how are your brows doing? <laughs> I still have problems with them. I have hair on the tail, I have hair in the front, but the front and the tails are light, so I have to fill them in with pencil. And, you know, I just don't think I'm very good with eyebrow pencils and stuff. So, but, you know, I think most of us would say the same. Uh, I don't know very many people who are so confident in their brow situations that are like, oh yeah, I bombed it, you know, wow, look at these brows, you know. Do you know anybody who's like, yeah, check out my brows, you know? I am aces. I am good. I am the bomb.com, baby. I do eyebrows better than anybody. <laughs> it doesn't matter if everyone else thinks you have a good brow day. You don't think you do, right? I never like my brows. I never think I've done a good job. Number 10, how often, if ever, do you wear glitter or metallic eyeshadow? This tag was like just made for me, wasn't it? Check, check, check. Um, all right, glitter, not so much anymore. I am finally to the stage where I'm tired of cleaning glitter out of my pores. I just don't want to rip at my face like I have to in order to get the glitter off my face. But metallic? All the time. I love metallic eyeshadows. Number 11, do you wear sleeveless tops, dresses, tunics, etc.? Nope, I don't. Um, yeah, the bat wings. They keep me from feeling confident enough to wear sleeveless tops, dresses, and tunics. And that would also include sundresses. Anything where my arms are going to be showing? No, I don't do that. And, you know, I'm of the school of thinking that tanned fat looks better than white fat any day of the week, right? Well, I don't tan anymore, so I have zero confidence in that department. You won't catch me sleeveless. Number 12, how often, if ever, do you use glycolic acid products? Look at my neck. I'm pretty sure I know what's doing this. I think it's the Derma E glycolic toner that I've been using. I think I need to pull back on that and stop using that morning and night every day. It says on the bottle I can use it every day, morning and night. I think maybe I should do that every other day, once a day now. 13, which looks younger, your hands or your neck? Oh gosh, neither one are looking good. I remember when I worked at the hospital, there was this lady and I was, I think I was like late 20s, early 30s at this point, And she said, girls, make sure you take care of your necks and your chest. At that time, I wasn't even, you know, like, I'm ashamed to say that some days I wouldn't even wash my face. <laughs> like, I'd get in the shower, I'd wash my hair and stuff, and, like, I never did anything to my face. But, you know, she warned us, and I blew it off. And let me tell you, her neck looked old and wrinkly and awful. And I was like, yeah, that ain't never happening to me. <laughs> but, you know, she did warn about that, and she was right. So, which looks worse? I personally think my hands... No, it's the neck. No, it's the hands. No, it's the neck. No, it's the hands. Neck, hands, necks. Well, let me tell you this. I didn't buy a device to make my hands look younger, so maybe it's my neck. You can definitely tell my age by my neck and my hands. Hey, this I is number 14. Do you take vitamin supplements for your hair or vision? No, I did. I let those supplements fall off for other supplements, right? So I let those go to afford better fish oil. <laughs> but I would like to get back to doing that. Number 15, as you age, do you look more like your mother or your father or no idea? Oh, definitely my mom. My mother has blue eyes, so I don't get my eyes from her. But my facial structure, my skin, my nose, my mouth, my smile, that's all my mom. So definitely I look more like my mother than my father. Number 16, most subtle highlighter you own. I think it's this. I think it's my Dior. 
This is the Dior uh, skin and this is the pink one. And it just gives the most beautiful, subtle highlight. Number 17, you win your choice of a neck lift, eye lift, boob lift, or tummy tuck. Which do you choose? Neck lift. I will choose a neck lift over all of that. Not that all the rest of that stuff is good and okay. <laughs> it's just the neck is really bothering me. Number 18, last vacation that you took nine years ago. We went on an Alaskan cruise. I don't know what number we're on now. I think it's 19. <laughs> Did you buy the Tati Blendiful? <laughs> if you don't know the answer to this, you're new to this channel. Okay, nobody wants to hear it, do they? You guys take a vote amongst yourself. You don't want to hear it, do you? No, you don't. Okay, we'll just go with yes. And no, I'm not finished testing the second go-round of the Tati Blendiful. And the last one, best memory of your mother's beauty routine. Well, I probably should remember some makeup-oriented thing. But what I remember most is her doing her hair. I remember watching my mother do her hair. Sometimes I would do her hair. I'm telling you, I really wanted to be a hairdresser, I think. I mean, I was always cutting everybody's Barbie hairs and stuff, cutting my doll's hairs. And my mom would like lay down on the floor and let me like use rollers in her hair. And I would comb her hair and put rollers in her hair and try to do like she did, you know, with her hair and comb her hair and stuff and so more than watching her put on her makeup was hair and rollers and the hair dryer thing you know that had the hose that, that put on and stuff um, but I guess if we're talking about um, makeup it would be the way she would put on her lipstick her and my grandma both I've studied them both intently couldn't wait to get my own lipstick so yeah that concludes it guys and yeah, I need to get out of here. I know you probably want to too. So guess who's the best part of the Fritzy family? That's right. It's you. Yay. You knew. You knew this time, right? You said you? Mm hmm Okay. But you know, if you're not feeling especially special and you want to improve that, guess what you can do? Go be kind. Go be a blessing. Go do something that, that will help someone else. And when you do that, I promise you, you're going to feel really good inside and you'll make their day too. Until next time, guys. Love you. See ya. Bye. And I'm out. This tag is called the Hot Hands. Hot Hands. Hot Hands. You're driving me wild. Number three. Have you crossed over to granny panties? No. I go commando everywhere I go. I don't wear underwear. What's wrong with you? I like having no panty lines. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just like Bridget Jones, you know, and I've got that granny panty thing going on. Hey, some guys think that's sexy. <laughs> if you want my body and you think I'm sexy, put some granny panties on. <laughs> Ugh. I think I have food in my hair. No, not food. Makeup. I somehow got makeup in my hair. <laughs> food. I think I have food in my hair. When I eat my food, I eat it like Ralphie's brother. <laughs> what are you doing? Number five, do you use? <laughs> we're dancing. Yes, indeed, we're dancing. We're getting a foot up our butt and dancing. And ah, my ankle don't feel so good up my butt today. I'm do me boo. No, not. That's do you boo. I do me, see? <laughs> Number nine, how are your brows doing? Not sure. I haven't checked in with them. Let's ask them. Hey, my brows. How you doing up there? You doing okay, my brows? Can't see you very well. <laughs> 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 We're in sad shape around here. We're like a spotted turkey. Oh, oh, oh. I'm doing a hut. Uh, look at me. Uh, I gotta look and get it all. I need a thing, y'all. <laughs> so my neck. Uh, oh, sorry. Excuse me, that just popped out. You know, I hate that about getting older. Like, you just be talking and then you just belch everywhere. Or better still, what about walking down the aisles of love's farting every time you take a step? <laughs>